Coach, appreciate uh, getting, having some time with you. And uh, first, want to ask you everything good with your family and your home and all of that. Yeah, and uh, you know Chris Wooten, who owns the body shop, we're going later on today uh, to help some people. He's bringing some of the players to go help some teams, uh, some families that have been flooded. Uh, Doctor Clamp, Jacob Smith, they've been carrying water to people, and so uh, we've we've got about ten teachers in downtown Columbia that are going to need help, and so uh, we're going to do our best to help. Into them. Well, we got some good news uh, to talk about football wise, as, as much as it kind of pales in comparison, of course, to, right. to the true tragedy going on right now in that situation. But uh, first ever Shrine Bowl player from River Bluff, and uh, obviously Brandon Tillman is a, a kid that you just love. And uh, talk a little bit about him, if you would. Well, you know, Whit Warner made a North South last year, and, and so that was our first All Star. And then Brandon now going to the Shrine Bowl. We you know, we thought we got some other kids that deserved, uh, you know, either Shrine Bowl or North South. So we'll wait and see what happens on that with North South. But we couldn't be more proud of Brandon and a young man he's growing into. And as you know, this it's a process. And Brandon and I just talked last week about, you know, how well you're doing your schoolwork and the manners and the young man that you that you are is going to carry you away further than your football career. And so it's pretty it's neat to see him honored for River Bluff High uh, and for his family. And for the kids on the team, for the community. You know, Lexington had two guys make it as well. So we're proud of all those kids from Lexington. One, very, very proud of Brandon. I thought it said a heck of a lot about him that he's played quarterback for you all yeah. year. And you, you've told me all year long he could be play, he could be the best linebacker in the state probably. Well, we've been politicking for him all along, calling all the coaches and every week sending in highlights. And uh, you know, we'd like to thank Tommy Knotts over at Dutch Fork. We heard he made a good comment for Brandon. Told him if he went full time football and didn't play baseball, he could play outside linebacker in SEC, and that was a big thing too that they wow. took into the meeting. Uh, so thank you to Coach Knotts over at Dutch Fork for saying something good about Brandon. That uh, I've said all along that in I don't know in four or five years when he's done and right now he, you know going to Liberty, which is a great school, play football and baseball. There'll come a time in about three years, Brandon's got to make the decision. Of does he want to continue playing both, focus on one, because there's a chance he could play baseball or football on Sunday. And uh, mm. he's that talented of a young man. We just hope he keeps his head on straight and makes the best decisions and has great manners and work ethic. And it'll all take care of itself down the road. Talking about the games, uh, obviously everything's in flux right now, but you're hopeful that possibly you could get your game in on Saturday. It, it just depends on when our district office decides for us to go back to school. Mm -hmm. And the safety of all the students and our teachers certainly take precedence over a football game or mm -hmm. a volleyball game or a tennis match mm -hmm. or a cross-country meet. Uh, so we'll just wait on their decision on what's the best thing to do. And and so we could be Saturday if we go back to school tomorrow or mm -hmm. we could be Monday. And uh, you know, we've been in conversation with all our ADs in our region to try to stay on the same schedule because I think that would be fair to the kids. Right. Last thing I want to ask is, and I kind of feel bad talking about football, but, hey, it's a good diversion if nothing else. Uh, five and one going into region play. And uh, you got to be very, very not only proud of your own kids, but, geez, you've got four teams in region five that are five and one going into the opening region. Yeah, game. and I think our kids found out last year in, in our region, if you're not ready to play and you don't execute, you could win. You could win any game if you execute real well, or you could lose any game mm -hmm. to any of the six that are in this region. So, I think that's a credit uh, to the coaches and uh, to the goals of this region. There's mm -hmm. some great kids in this region. Well, South Aiken coming up, uh, maybe Saturday, maybe uh, Monday, but whenever it is, Coach. Good luck, and I'll let you get back to what you are doing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Rick.